Well, wait, can I, you. wait, real quick. Please. Can I sure. do the thing? I, I think that's such an important question, Dustin. Well, wait, can I, you. wait, real quick. Please. Can I sure. do the thing? Um, Please. There was a hard question asked earlier that wasn't a good response to, and you just said something. I'm actually curious to hear your response to it. Please. Um, somebody earlier, uh, I wish I could remember, whoever asked us to take credit for it. Somebody earlier asked, how do you tell people which issues to leave behind? And yeah. the trans issue is, the, tr the trans question, is like a big thing that's like the boogeyman, the specter of like progressive politics right now. When you yeah. have trans people that like are seeing all the legislation that's being proposed or passed in some places, when they see all of the alarmist rhetoric online, when they see all these things, and then they feel like people are saying like, listen, um, this just isn't your time right now, sorry. Uh, we yeah. need to talk about other things. How do you get those people on board, certain people that feel like they have an issue that's important to them? How can people decide what's important to be left behind versus what they need to fight to the death on? I, I think that's such an important question, Dustin. You can't, like, I'm sure you've seen this in your community. You can't tell someone this 20 who really strongly feels they're non-binary that that's not important. They don't deserve you know, equal rights. So they, that's not an equal message. I think like if you put me in charge of you know, the transgender rights movement in the United States tomorrow, what I would do is I'd try to build a, a storage test of about 10 to $30 million. I'd start pushing back on some of these lawsuits and I'd focus on something in the same way that gay men in the 90s put everything behind gay marriage, right? They found one thing that everyone involved could agree on and they used it as a spear to penetrate the armor, and then they were able to get other things afterwards. So I think that there's a real need for leadership uh, in the trans community. I, I just have no idea how anyone would start to begin building that. Okay.